Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eugene and uh, today I'm going to share some tips with you on how to repair a uh, motor controller on a uh, Chinese mini lathe. Um, this is one of the uh, controllers that we're going to be looking at. Uh, this is a slightly simpler controller that most of the modern lasers have. This, this one only has uh, four total terminals, uh, two for DC motor and two for AC. Uh, to plug into your wall. Um, the newer controllers have more terminals for more other options. You can, from, from, for different options, you can see that on my website. Um, in this particular controller, uh, just like any other, the, the more complex controller, it consists uh, literally of uh, three major parts. Uh, the first major part is uh, uh, MOSFET transistors, which you should be able to see. Uh, the MOSFET transistors are the power of this board and um, uh, the motor pretty much connects directly to those MOSFET uh, transistors. Uh, the second part is the digital controller board, which is this little board. It's called, uh, sometimes it's called um, daughter board. Uh, this is a digital controller that produces the signal for MOSFETs to start working. And there's an intermediate part in between them. It's those small yellow, uh, small white chips. They're called uh, Darlington Opticouplers. Opticouplers are the joining block between the MOSFET transistors and the digital uh, controller. Uh, what happens is uh, when you turn on your lathe, and uh, you turn the potentiometer, the signal goes to a digital controller board. Digital controller board sends the signal to opticouplers, and opticouplers open up and uh, provide power to MOSFET transistors, which provide power to the motor. If you don't understand electricity and never worked with electronics and uh, electricity, please do not try this at home. This can be very dangerous. Uh, and always please wear your safety glasses when you work on the equipment. Okay, here's the motor controller and um, we're going to be performing few tests to understand what's not working in this motor controller. As, as of right now it's all connected. Instead of the motor I have connected a light bulb. That will show us if the motor controller is working or not. At this point the motor control is on and uh, we can turn the potentiometer back and forth and as you see the light does not come up that tell us that the motor control is not working. So here's the first and simplest test we're going to perform. We're going to uh, try to understand if the uh, MOSFET transistors are good in this board. So the simplest way you can test that is you're going to have to short out two legs on the opticoupler controller on the board and that will tell you if the MOSFETs are good or not. Here are the opticouplers and the two legs that we're going to short are, let me see, 're gonna be those two legs this one and this one those two legs are the opticouplers uh, uh, transistor emitter and collector so we're gonna try I'm gonna try to show you that we're gonna short them out you have to be very careful don't short out anything else or don't touch anything else with your screwdriver make sure you only touch those two legs and uh, that will show you that light will come up. Okay, we have tested the opticouplers and uh, we have tested one side of the opticouplers and we have tested the most fit transistors. So at this point we know that uh, most fits are good and at least one side, the transistor side of the opticoupler is also good. 
Uh, the next step we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to test the other side of the OptiCoupler. OptiCoupler is a device that's made out of uh, two devices, LED and an optical uh, transistor. So uh, we have tested the, uh, the transistor part of it because we short out the uh, collector and emitter terminals of a transistor and that made the um, uh, power transistors or MOSFET transistors to turn on our light bulb. Now we need to test the other side of uh, OptiCoupler which is a uh, LED, it's an infrared LED inside of it. So we need to provide uh, some power to it to see if our OptiCoupler is in working condition. In order to test a LED uh, side of the OptiCoupler I have made this little device it's a very simple device and I will provide you with a uh, information on how to build one if you want uh, it's going to be on my website uh, with this little device we'll be able to test the LED side of the OptiCoupler and that way we'll know for sure if our OptiCoupler is good or not okay here's what we need to do to test the LED side of the OptiCoupler we need to connect this little device that you will get a diagram for uh, we need to connect that to the OptiCoupler's input legs which are also going to be available on my website the information about this uh, it's actually the first one and the second one on the other side the first one with a little dot that's a number one and the second next to it is a number two number one is plus and uh, number two is negative just uh, to make it simpler I have soldered two wires to it if you see those two wires they're actually going under the board and I've soldered, soldered them to the number one and number two just to make it easier to show you uh, so at this point we're gonna take this uh, device and I've already connected the negative wire all I need to do is uh, touch this wire with my positive wire and as you see as soon as I touch it the light goes on that tells us that the empty coupler is perfectly working good um, that tells us that there is something wrong with the digital controller board and um, digital controller board goes after the optocoupler that's the beginning that's the first stage of our board and that's what uh, that's the only part or this is the main part in the board that we cannot replace because we cannot find parts for it so uh, we just verified that our uh, power module of the board is working which is uh, MOSFET transistors we just verified that OptiCouplers work good and we just verified that signal from a digital controller board does not travel to the OptiCoupler and uh, just to make sure that we have a problem with the digital controller board and nothing else in this controller to prove it uh, I've decided to hook up a board to a oscilloscope uh, if you don't know, oscilloscope is a, a tester device that's designed to show you the signal from a different devices. This is my oscilloscope, and as you see right now, this single line shows that there is absolutely no signal going to oscilloscope. Okay, and now the conclusion. Um, we have performed a multiple tests on the Chinese motor controller lathe, lathe motor controller and uh, we've determined that uh, the problem is with a digital board on that controller and that's something that we cannot replace because we don't have the part and I don't believe the part is available so thank you for watching uh, good luck and see you next time